that's a yogurt and green masala sort of dip. So mm. it's, it's not real hot, but it's a bit of a bit of a kick. centerpiece of the top for the table. Too hard, the maggots fly up. Mm. <laughs> uh. So that last video I've got there, that's a slam nut. That's all we need. That what, one there. What was that one about? Um, well, basically, uh, we sort of uh, reached this point in time that the prophecy of uh, Hindi is that the Messiah, better get in the picture again, uh, has to be revealed in 2012. Said. Yeah, it doesn't, it, but the suffering of Luke talks about all the things that you have to suffer before the Son of Man is revealed. Now, that doesn't mean that the world accepts him. I mean, you've worked, I mean, this year has been heavier than any other year for the revealing. It's been happening all along. So it's been done, it's been revealed. Everybody knows whether they accept it or not. It doesn't matter. This fellow has been slam dunking us now. We used to believe it, you know. The one that's been saying all these nasty things. Pete Santilli. Yeah, he's a believer. He can't announce that he believes, but he can slam dunk me and get the name out there. That's what he's doing. Yeah. Johnny, are we, um, I've sent this last um, piece of work to uh, the church and uh, in Armenia. Now, there's always a 180 with me, as you know. Um, it's on Mount Ararat. And as you know, the software uh, program that I've loaded in Fiji come down with Ararat on it. Right. So I've got the longitude and latitude for this particular. Thank you very much. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say now. Eh? Ararat software. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that gives a latitude and longitude which we can measure from. Because it appears angelically. And the distance back and forth from all these different markers around Colombo is where I've been. I was trying to see the bloody elephants and this taxi driver kept kind of bloody jewelry stuff. Bastard. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, that's the Colombo experience. Well, that's the Garden of Eden. It goes, it's all Hindi. It goes back before all of the other religions. And predicts that in 2012, via the same prophecies of the priesthood, uh, a thousand years ago, predicted this year, now the 180. <laughs> but two days to come. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We're running out of time for 2012. Mm. I can write the letter of acceptance by the Armenians because I'm the author in the first place, right? So I must just announce it. This is what he said. Mm. What are you going to argue with God? 
It says on the drain, right? Right now. Thank you, Ashley. The 180. My brother. He is um, 88.78 years old, I think. Because he's born at 2.22 in the evening. 8.78. That's it. <laughs> well, that number is the square root of the total number of verses. Words. Yeah, words <laughs> in the Bible. Like 780,000, 280, or something like that. Yeah. Now, from sunrise to moonrise was 780 minutes. Now, sunrise to sunset was 780 minutes, was it? This is the 25th, 1935, February. He's born at uh, 2200 hours. That's a Hebrew number. Um, sunset to moonrise was 197 minutes. That's my name. It's Joshua, the Old Testament. Uh, it uh, means gold and all this kind of stuff. And uh, the 780 means. Ararat! <laughs> <laughs> Do you see the amazing synchronicity of this, uh, of Armenia? Mm. Who knew? So I, I think one would have to admit I've got every detail covered. You could take a risk of firing something at me and looking completely stupid when I outsmart the world's elite. Mm. Right. Ask me something, and I'll I'll check it out. And um, Butter, thank you very much. I was just going to ask, would you like the butter, sir? Thank you very much. Cool. Hey, mm -hmm. yo. So I'm going to make half a hamburger. Well, we all are. Mm. So what are we going to call this a bean burger? Chick, yes. Chicky burger. Stick chick burger. Mm -hmm. Who? Who you make them? Pardon? Did you make these? Yes, I did, but they should have turned out a little bit different. <laughs> are they so to eat? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> We had them last night, just that last night they oh, stuck together. I was wondering why I felt ill. <laughs> yes, they sort of fell apart. I went to deep fry them and they sort of exploded. Good job. Yeah, I've got to put something else on. Let's just see. Wait. And that's got a little bit of a kick to it. Spicy. Mm, no, that's yummy. Green mm. masala and yogurt. Mm. If you think I'm not very sort of house trained, but pick up my feet, you should see my sister. She uses it. <laughs> she does. <laughs> yes, so my brother. This is a square root of how many words there are in the Bible. <coughs> Gives you Ararat. And um, <coughs> one nine seven. The cradle of civilization. It's like going full circle. <coughs> well, the problem, see, I always keep my promise. Mm. Sometimes that can be very difficult. And that was the whole point in the story throughout. You know, Satan comes along and promises all of these things and the guys fall for it. Mm. 
but was the reiterate, you know, has he kept his promise? Has well, he kept well, his promise? Well, quite enough for me, I can't get my mouth <laughs> And then, uh, after about the 11th time, Satan says to them, I never keep my promise. I never keep my word. He <laughs> submits it outright. Mm. Mm. He tried many times to kill Adam and succeeded, and then God sent his word and raised him up. Mm. They tried to kill themselves, and then God sent his word and raised him up. Because that was so despondent. Mm. Romeo and Juliet thrown, threw themselves down the mountain. Mm. Their blood was left all over the rocks. <laughs> and then when Cain came on, boy, was he a nasty piece of work from the beginning. Yes, I took on all the <coughs> human qualities that will be in the end time. Check two. Satanic. Mm, exactly. As in the days of Noah. So to solve the problem of the world, that is not the time. You've got to take care of the fuel industry. And the easiest way to do that is to um, <coughs> run all your vehicles on uh, compressed air. And just have them modified so that you uh, might have four or five thousand psi in a tank, and you inject that into the spark plug area. As the spark is burning the fuel of normal air, ten to one pressure, it suddenly is injected with say twenty-two pounds per square inch, which immediately expands because all that's what the fuel is doing, and that pushes the piston down each time. The piston goes up, pushes back down again. You don't have to have a four strike anymore, it's a single strike. So, once you do that in the industries, you just generate hydrogen and put it back into a runner. But the fuel, you own it. Only 14 cents a gallon. Hmm. At Libya had. And you always said, why we invent the wheels, just about the distribution of it. Oh. Combustion engine's perfect. Hmm. So you have all this extra, extra power, you want the air compressor to pump the air in the car. Hmm. 200 miles a gun. It's in a fantastic magnetic motor right from Turkey, I think. Um, I sent his work three years ago. And uh, all the scientists looking at it because it's like can't be done over in two dollars for it. And um, it's the last one. Beautiful thing. Mm. The work is standing mine. Man, what a genius. What he achieved was staggering.
What did you say this was? Um, green masala with um, yogurt, plain yogurt. Mm. 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 It has a certain, you know, you could use a little bit more, but you didn't. Mm. But, I could have. It's like rocket fuel, I tell you. It's like rocket fuel. So that's what she's thinking, right? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> straight out of the jar, it's very concentrated because it's the paste, it's the cream masala paste. And I mm. thought I'd try that before I added it. Like, whoa. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm. We're going to have a little. A program up there with eat and how to switch off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you the camera to switch off. Okay. <laughs> what I say now, <laughs> it's not time. Switch it off. Mm. You never know with our cameras. You can switch them off. Oh. And they remain until they're ready to go off all by themselves. Mm. <laughs> and the GPS. Yeah. Well, there's nothing wrong with that GPS to look at. You wait till I buy another one, then it'll start working again. Mm. But there'll be something in the new one I'll need to do. No, it's not going to happen. Like that? Mm. Sure, you look hungry. And the cow still got this. <laughs> oh, you need that for it then. There you go. Oh, I'm quite excited. Highly recommend it. Needs a little something. I don't know quite what it was. Maybe we've cooked too long. It sort of, it fell apart. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it would pull apart and go. Because it was very sloppy <laughs> as it was defrosting. No, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> we slow it wet mud. But apart from that little bit was missing. Taken in. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when it's going to be watched by millions. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Two are million. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> it's been sent to the the mother church, the apostolic Armenian apostolic. Then you've got the Armenian. Evangelical, and then you've got the Armenian Evangelical Brotherhood. So they've all got it. <laughs> it's all very new. So you say to the world, you can have us all more of the same, <laughs> but uh, time's up. Mm. We ain't doing no good. No, that's for sure. Just had a fly. <laughs> you should see the kids' faces when they do that. <laughs> Do you remember the kids used to say to me when I tried cooking? That's going to pull the bits in the oven. Yeah. Needed something extra, I used to say. Where is 
song? Hmm? Is there a song? Something extra? A song. A song. <laughs> Something extra. You better learn the Armenian national anthem. Oh, yes. We had. We better learn. The language is weird. <laughs> language is weird. Mm. Yeah. Sounds unusual. Mm. Sort of, you can hear sort of little bits of like um, a German pronunciation. You can hear mm. like little bits of um, uh, almost like Greek. Mm. Well, well, it came from. Mm. There were three languages spoken at the court at the time of the first. Well, before, it, but well, at the time of Jesus, Greek, <coughs> Syria, which was Aramaic, and what they called them, um, the pav pavla, pavla, but not an uh, Armenian language. And the alphabet was created in the fourth century by Meslop. That is where Mesrob comes into it. He was a brilliant scholar and a monk, and he was commissioned to now bring it all together formulate an alphabet. There's 38 letters in the alphabet. It, um, it's all it. Mm. And they say that the Armenian Bible, which was 4th century, because he put the alphabet together to be able to write it from the Syria for the Aramaic scripts, mm. is known as the Queen of the Bible. So it's interpretation and translation. So they've had their own Bible since the fourth century. So King James is doesn't figure in their equation. They've got uh, the Apocrypha books mm. in them. German books won't get on. Well, if it's past thirteen, then what's that? Seventy nine. Yep. <clears throat> but it may, may not <clears throat> may not be whatever it is, thirty seven plus twenty nine it might be. Well, I'll check it out, but they've got the thirteen apocryphal. Well I won't be reading that one yet. No. Pointless. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we'll be on our yacht somewhere. Hmm? We'll be on our yacht somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. I love the monastery. That'd be nice for our Armenian home. <coughs> it can be restored. That's the helicopter. Oh, I've got the um, cable car. 5.7 kilometer cable car wow. across the valley. That's yeah. quite a valley. It is, it's a huge valley. But is it a single span? 5.7 kilometers? Well, when I made it up, that's what I understood, yeah. Because they said it's the longest stretch. Very interesting. I mean, it's such a social, all of their feast days, it's such a social calendar. <laughs> That's good. Isn't it? it is. Hopefully, we're invited. <laughs> Some yardings. And, um, they get dressed up a lot. <laughs> Stop shopping at Vinnie's. <laughs> no. Could stop shopping at Vinnie's. No. <laughs> One thing about our rat, a great place for hang gliding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Your first thing. <laughs> <laughs>
You did need your lovely things that wasn't clipped properly. Oh, That's what it was. You got a part in the go. Some person at this table is quite ashamed of that. <laughs> you, noticed, you noticed I gave him mine and you didn't want it. Too late, that guy. Well, you're out there, didn't you? Embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> you think this was bloody awful, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd put it in a mouth and a little tear coming out. <laughs> <laughs> it tasted to life. Well, in a sort of strange sort of way, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I always say to you, keep it down, it's good. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> 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 Okie dokie then. So we've got Pat Lavers, have we? No. Then why did you have <laughs> <get> that <laughs> name? <laughs> That's what I was thinking, Pat Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> well, no. Oh, no. no, close. <laughs> Quick trip into Eli Walter. However, it's closed. They're closed early around here on Sunday. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I thought it was 6 or 7 o'clock. No, it's earlier than that because we got caught out one day uh. on a Sunday. Oh, oh. plug in to another. Oh, you're running out of power. Full hard drive, is it? No, I pulled the plug out to run the fan before I was doing a little test. You forgot it there. Yeah. <coughs> All right, we can stop this thing now, eh? Mm. Good. Any idea. last words? No. Have a look. Have a look. Too bad. Not tonight. <laughs>